This is Kathy from Gadgets Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to be trying out Sailor Ink Studio 123. I'll be testing it in a variety of pens and nib sizes ranging from a Caveco Extra Fine to a 1.5 stub nib. I'm going to begin with my Sailor LeCool that has a medium fine nib but it puts down a finer line than the Caveco Extra Fine. So I'm going to begin with it. A little bit of a hard start there. And this feels pretty dry. And the fact that the ink is kind of faint, kind it adds to that feeling of dryness, I find. In more saturated inks, I tend to be a little more forgiving when the, the pen feels dry like this, but Oh, I didn't do my little. And it is somewhat dry there. I believe. Let's see. This ink is so faint. Well, no. It put down a decent amount of ink. It's just very faint. Next, I've got my Caveco Skyline Sport with an extra fine nib. And the feedback I'm feeling is very similar to what I felt with the LeCool, but since it's a wider line and there's more ink going down on the page, I find that the feedback is not as unpleasant. So I'm going to put that this one was, it was okay. It's not a, a pen and ink combination that I would say that I would look forward to writing with, but writing with it wasn't unpleasant. Next, I've got my Twisby Mini with a fine nib. This is a very smooth nib, but with this ink, it it's feeling a little bit, a little dry. It feels closer to the way the LeCool felt. It's smoother than the Caveco Sport was, but it seems like maybe there was less ink. I'm just going to say. It's okay. Not enjoyable. Next, I've got a Platinum 3776 with a medium nib. Oh, this is feeling dry also. And this Platinum Medium Nib typically has a little bit of feedback to it. Not usually unpleasant, but in this case, surprisingly, it, I didn't care for it. Next, I've got my Pilot Stargazer with a Medium Nib. Usually this nib is glassy smooth, but I'm even feeling some feedback with this one. It's very wet, but I have to make a note. That's unusual to feel that much feedback with this pen. And I wouldn't call it unpleasant. I'm just making a note of it because it's so out of the ordinary. And finally, the 1.5 stub nib. Finally, something that I'm uh, used to. This is very smooth. 
All right. Surprisingly, on this Tomoe River paper, other than the 1.5 stub nib, I wouldn't consider any of those enjoyable to write with. All right. On my Rhodia paper, I, I've got them out of order, the Twisby Mini I forgot to do my writing sample with, but it was very dry. The Pilot, this is weird because the Pilot Stargazer on this smooth Tomoe River paper, I felt feedback. But on my Rhodia paper, it was so glassy smooth that it was unpleasant. Like I didn't feel like I had control. Really, the nicest one out of this bunch was the Caveco Skyline Sport. It had just a just the slightest hint of feedback, and you can see here it was putting down a nice amount of ink, but like I always mention with this Caveco Sport, the longer I wrote, I could feel it getting drier, even in one line of writing. Here at the beginning, it was putting down just the perfect amount of ink, but if I could tell that if I was going to be doing much writing, it was going to start writing dry like the rest of these. That was unusual, or not unusual for the Caveco, but it was unusual that it started writing dry that quickly. And on my 20 pound copy paper, you can see this ink has a, a gray look to it. Um, you can see more of the purple and pink on the Tomoe River paper, but it just comes out looking like a cool gray. The Sailor Le Cool was nice, and I find that a lot on poor quality paper. This Le Cool is pleasant to write with. It just, you know, there's nothing special about the way it looks. It's just a pleasant workhorse pen. The Caveco Sport felt too wet, like the ink was like you're writing with a magic marker. The Twisby Mini felt a little dry, but then I changed it to okay. Uh... The Platinum felt nice. The Pilot Stargazer, as usual, on poor quality paper, just felt too wet. Here lately, I've been enjoying writing in my Leutsch term. And let's see. In my Leutsch term, I put the Sailor 123, or the Ink Studio 123, beside the 224. And... I can just see a slight difference. The 123 looks a little more purple, and the 224 leans a little more blue, but the difference is so subtle that most people aren't going to be able to tell the difference unless they're right beside each other. I also did a writing sample up here near the front. Let me see. And... I just really enjoy writing with my Pilot Stargazer on this Leutsch term paper. Just has just the right amount of feedback. The Twisby Mini felt really nice. Some of the finer nibs were a little bit dry though. And finally, on the Tomoe River paper, just nothing stood out as super pleasant to write with. I guess if you're just going by looks, I kind of like, I guess I, I like the Stargazer the best. I like the bold line that it puts down. And you can see it looks like uh, a pink ink with a halo of purple, similar to the stub nib. And while I have this here, Let's compare this to the writing sample for, let's see, 224. They looked very similar. Yeah, you can see here, this one looks a little more blue when you're looking at the stub nib. That looks purple, and this looks more blue. So, very similar on the Tomoe River paper as well. 
All right, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.